Hey, I'm Charles with Rocky Mountain ATV MC. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to customize your fuel and ignition mapping on your fuel injected Honda dirt bike using the Honda PGM FI tuner. The thing that's so awesome about these Honda PGM FI tuners is they allow you to customize the map for your specific riding needs. So some guys, they like a more aggressive map, other people like a more mellow map, and some people are just trying to adjust the mapping for certain track conditions, whether it's a sand track, or maybe you have a hard pack track with some loose stuff on top. Whatever it is, this is the tool that's gonna to allow you to change the power characteristics of your bike. Now, some people, they've done intake, exhaust, or motor mods, and to get your bike running at its best, again, you're gonna need this tool. So, I highly recommend it. What we're doing today with our bike, these 2021 CRF 450Rs, they had a low end bog, and we picked up two different maps to cure that issue. So we're gonna be sending those maps to our ECU, and that way we're not gonna have that bog anymore. Now with this tool, it is a little spendy, it's in the $500 range, but the tool is cheaper than buying an exhaust system. I highly recommend it. And if you have other friends with Honda fuel injected dirt bikes, you guys can go in on it together and it's gonna make it cheaper. And the software, it can actually hold up to 30 different maps at a time. So you can create your own custom maps or you can just download a map, which is the easiest way. Download the map, send it to the ECU and be done with it. It only takes a couple seconds. You don't have to deal with jets like the old bikes and that actually took quite a bit of time. So this is real quick and simple and I'm gonna show you how to use it right now. This is the Honda PGM FI setting tool. It comes with three different pieces. So you have this box and then you have this link that's gonna to connect to your wiring harness on the bike. We'll just plug that in right there. And then we have this cap, we're gonna remove that. And then we need to hook this last harness to either an auxiliary battery, a five or seven amp battery, or if you have an electric start bike, I would just hook these leads to the battery that's already on your bike. And then last, we have this connector to our laptop or computer. Now, that's what the tool comes with. It does not come with the software. So this program comes on a CD. You're gonna need a CD drive to get it installed onto your computer. That's a one-time deal. But I also recommend getting that data setting tool manual. That's gonna tell you everything you need to know about this program and that manual, you will have to use that CD drive every time. So that's what you need to know about it. Now, if you have a 2021 CRF 450R like us, we took our bike up to Proven Moto to have it dyno tuned. They made two different maps for Chase and we're gonna share those maps with you. Just make sure you click the link below. All right, first thing we need to do is install the program onto our computer. So we'll put the CD in the CD drive and we're just gonna follow the prompts on the screen. All right, on the left side of your bike, you should have a red cap and a four pin connector. I already pulled that left shroud off. You don't need to do that. You can just press on this tab right here and pop this up and then remove this cap. You're gonna have one more tab right here. Pull down on that. Now we can plug the red connector for our data setting tool onto that. Now, one thing with the wires, you wanna make sure they don't touch any hot spots like your exhaust because you don't wanna damage them. That's gonna ruin your tool. After that, we can connect this tool to the battery. And with this battery, you wanna make sure it's fully charged and that the connections are nice and snug. If they're not, or if the battery isn't fully charged, you might run into some issues with it sending the data over to the ECU. Once we're at this point, we're gonna open up the program and then make our USB connection then we're gonna hit communication start. Make sure that your switch is off and this warn button, we're not even gonna use that. 
Then once you make sure everything's off, we're gonna hit the power switch to the on setting and click OK. So that just sent all the information from our ECU to our program. We're gonna turn this off. Another pop-up came up and we're just gonna click OK. And then you just wanna verify the information is correct. So on ours it says it's a 2021 CRF 450R. Once you've verified that the correct model pulled up, you're gonna click the model decision button and that's gonna bring you to the setting tool window. All right, the first thing we're gonna show you guys is how to import a map and then send it to the ECU. Now, don't worry too much about this. If you mess anything up at any point, you can reset everything to the default data. We'll show you how to do that later. So what we're gonna do is go in the HRC data setting tool and you're gonna to go to data import. Then you're gonna to go to your downloads. You know, ours is showing, we downloaded three different maps. We're just gonna to go to this first one. When we open that up, that's gonna show up on our HRC data setting tool. So you can see now we have the option to select default data or sugar two maps. This map, the Sugar 2 maps, it's actually gonna overwrite maps two and three on your ECU. You can't change map one, that's always gonna be the same, but you're gonna have two different maps that we're gonna send over to this right now. And the only difference is one of them has different ignition timing than the other. So the fuel is gonna look the same on both. So what we need to do now is click on the ECU communication button. Then we're gonna click transmission start. So the switch is off. We're gonna click okay. And it's gonna tell us to turn it on. Then we can click okay. It's gonna send those maps over. It says the transmission process was complete. Click okay. And we're gonna turn off power to the ECU. Click okay. All right, to make sure that map was sent over to the ECU, what we're gonna do is hit ECU communication, or you're still on that, hit reception start. So make sure the power supply is off, hit okay. And then it's gonna start communication with ECU. So we're gonna turn this on and we'll hit okay. Then it says setting contents of the received data is same with Man management data, sugar two maps. So we know that those maps are on the ECU. We did everything right. So we're gonna turn this power button off, click okay. So we know all that's in there. All right, so that's gonna be the most common thing is download a map and send it to the ECU. But if you wanna make your own map, what you're gonna do, let's just say we go into the sugar two maps and we wanna modify it a little bit. So we've clicked data edit, sugar two maps, hit edit mode. So that brings up our map. And what we're gonna wanna do, you can click on an individual cell that you wanna change. So you're gonna have RPM versus throttle opening. And if you wanna change this percentage, what you can do, I just right clicked on this and this is gonna be the best way to do this for the average guy because it's gonna tell you if you're in the safe range or not. So right in the middle of this scale right here, you've got this blue area and that is the safe area that you can make adjustments in. If you go into the red, that's a warning area and typically you're really gonna to wanna to know what you're doing if you start going into red stuff. But yeah, for the average guy, I recommend staying in the blue then just hit enter key, or if you don't wanna actually make a change to that, you hit cancel. So we're negative four, that's in the green. So there's no warning on that. And then obviously all that yellow stuff, that's unchanged. So you can do it that way, or you can change a whole section at a time. So let's say in this bottom right-hand corner, we're all at zeros. Maybe wanna bump it up a little bit. I can select that whole area, right click it, and then we have the sliding scale, but it doesn't give us the safe range. If you wanna do the safe range stuff, you gotta click on the individual cells. So I'm just gonna bump that up, 
a little bit, 7%, enter. So we're in the green right there. You know, this probably isn't what you'd wanna do, but if that is what you wanna do and you wanna save this map and send it over to the ECU, all you have to do is come up with a new name. So I'm just gonna call this test one. So I'm gonna click edit data and save. And then, you know, we already had that area that's in the red, but we still wanna save it. So if you go back to the main data setting tool screen, it's gonna show three different maps. You know, again, this can hold up to 30 different maps, but say you're at 30 and you wanna create something new, you need to get rid of some maps, or you wanna send a map that you created to your friend, what you would do is, let's click on test one, and we're gonna do data export, and we're just gonna send it to our downloads. And then it's gonna ask us if we wanna delete that map from the database, and I do, I wanna make some space, so click yes. That's been completed. So now we only have two maps on here again. Now, say you screwed up your maps really bad and you wanna reset everything. All you click is default data, and then we're gonna do ECU communication, and we're gonna do transmission start. So everything's off, our button's off. Click okay. Then we're gonna supply power to the ECU. Click OK. So it says that was completed. Then we can turn this power off. Click OK. And if you wanna verify that we did send the stock maps to the ECU, what you can do is click on your ECU communication and hit the reception start, same as we did with the Sugar 2 maps and that way you know you have the correct map on your bike. So at this point, we're just gonna disconnect the tool from the bike and we're gonna reinstall that red cap and we'll go check it out. And that's it for the Honda PGM FI tuner. Don't forget to click the link below and get those two Honda maps if you have the same bike. And that way you can get them loaded up to your bike. Now, if you need this tool, it's available on our website. So be sure to check that out and subscribe to our channel for more helpful content. Thanks for watching. Thank you.